flip. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Boom. Flip. Flip. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you know what it, it's it's stereo. So. Oh no. Oh, I listen. Can hear you. There we go. So now when you get up on that mic, you'll hear your voice change. Yes. Hey. There we up? go. And there we are. <laughs> Oh, she get- is sexy. Hey. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> all the two, all everybody just cranked their radios up. <laughs> I like this. I could be a singer now. Woo! No. You, yeah. <laughs> is that it? That's the tone you got to hit. <laughs> this is cool. Right? It's not yeah, too bad. I like mm-hmm. it. It takes a, it takes a second and then you're like, okay. Now, yeah. Like now you hear how you sound. How I sound. Yeah. It sound yeah. good. But we all have good voices. If we had yeah. bad voices it'd be it'd be a problem. <laughs> it'd be a shitty podcast. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hour an hour in, you'd be like, "Oh my god, I gotta like stop listening to myself. It's I horrible." Know. The worst uh, is if it's a really good, it's a really bad voice, but it's fantastic content. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard. You know, I've heard some crazy ones. I've heard really amazing content and shitty audio. Oh no! So oh, it's yeah. like, so it's like by the time you're ten minutes into it, you're like, "What am I listening to?" I. It sounds like you're recording this in a bathroom. Uh, mm-hmm. It's just horrible. It's horrible. Tell me your Karen story. So yeah, so <laughs> I was actually happy to see it because I love the Karen jokes. Um, First of all, Nick's mom, these do not apply to you at all. She listens, too. She's going to be pissed at you. Ooh. Yeah, she's going to be so, like, why is John talking about Karens? He every, knows how so I feel every about other this. Karen, every other Karen except you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> I want to preface this by saying I'm happy I finally got to witness one of these stories in person. Because the jokes always fucking crack me up. You just usually re- read about them on the internet. Yeah, and they're hysterical, but I got, I got to witness one. So she didn't look like a typical Karen. It was like red hair or whatever. Little, short, uh, heavy set older woman. And I had gone to TD Bank. Now, I brought my dog with me because he likes to go in there, get treats, and make friends with everybody. Yes. Archer loves the world. I feel like that's your dog, too. Your dog's super friendly, right? Oh, Gizmo, he's the best. (laughs) We got lucky with him. Mm -hmm. He's a mute. (laughs) Oh, puppy. So I was walking in, and I went to, I just had to, you know, do a cash deposit. It was nothing, nothing serious. And I went in, and I've been going to that bank for probably like eight or ten years or so like since they opened that branch that was my bank now i went like past the first security door to where the atm is and then into i went to go to the next one the lady the door was locked i'm like oh what the fuck is this <clears throat> she goes i'm sorry with the insiders closed we had two corona cases so we had to shut everything down i'm like oh that sucks oh well all right so she's like what do you have to do i'm like i just need the pause like you can do it in the atm mm-hmm. I'm like all right I'm like sorry arch you're not gonna treat today and that was the extent of my anger did what I had to do, and I never used the ATM. I, I always like to go in there. Then this woman comes in behind me. Cue the Karen. Uh-oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> she comes in, um, basically stomping and storming already like she owned the place. Walks in, pulls on the door. It doesn't work. She pulls harder. I'm like, lady, it's not working. I hate to break it to you. Like, this happened. Like, that's not right. So she starts, like, going, hey, hey, yelling into the, oh my ye- like, goodness. excuse me. <laughs> and keep in mind, I know everybody at this bank. I've been going there forever. So everybody that's working right there, they've seen me a million times. She's like, what's going on? It's like, I want to come inside. Uh, it's not right. I'm handicapped. She didn't park in handicap parking. Oh, my God. She's like, I hurt my shoulder, so I can't use the drive through one. And this guy's taking too long at the ATM, which I just, I literally just got in there. So she's sitting like, I can't do it. I have a 40-minute lunch break. And the lady was just, she was very nice. She was saying like, ma'am, I'm sorry. You need to do the drive through or this. She's like, well, my shoulder. I'm like, well, and then she started getting frustrated with her. Like the, the bank teller started to get a little frustrated. It's like, ma'am, I don't know what to tell you. There's other branches literally five minutes away, like right on Merrick Road. You can go there. She's like, I only get a 40 minute lunch break. You don't know how it is. Oh my God. She goes, I'm going to call everyone I know. And oh. keep in mind, huh. my transaction is done by now. So, and I never use, I never use the ATM, but I don't want to hear how this finished out. So I start pressing every fucking button on there. I'm like, you know what? I do want a balance statement on my savings account. I would love a checking balance. Oh, no. How's this look? Yeah, show, me, look? show me more information on your credit cards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Literally. So I was pressing every button, so I learned the ATM. And <laughs> this woman goes, I know a lot of people that bank here. I'm going to get them to boycott it. I'm canceling my account. Oh, oh God. I get and, it. Oh, horrible. Like, are, are you going to be open tomorrow so I can close everything out? And she's like, ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't know when we're going to be open. But I'd be like, there's a chase down the street. Yeah. Yeah. yeah enjoy. So I, I look at the teller. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, fuck this. She's <laughs> and the little girl, like the Karen, she looks at me. She goes, she's like, yeah, you're going to close your account. I'm like, absolutely. Fuck this place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just play along with it. 
And she got her. You, no, you can't do that. You can't give he, someone like that false hope. Was, oh, because no, no, now, now that's, no, that's, wanted, that's how people wanted, start taking over uh, countries and no, shit. No, no, I wanted to burn her down. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Karen. Except, except your Karen. Except my Karen. I love her. She's great. You're and ho- Karen, you know what? Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You're in hospitality too. Yes. Oh, let me tell you the stories. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, real quick. Now I just sound like an asshole. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to. Sorry, I didn't yeah, want to come no, up. No, no. But, but it, I just jogged my memory yeah. that you were in hospitality. Mm-hmm. I want to hear those. So anyway, she's like, yeah, you're gonna, do you know anybody else that'll like quit this bank? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, honey, you said you had 40 minutes for a lunch break. You could have gone to the other bank by now. It's fine. Shit happens. I'm sorry we're in a pandemic. And guess what? I'm not happy about it. I got my dog here. He wanted a bone and he's not getting one. <laughs> And that's it. Now I got to make an extra stop to PetSmart. Yeah. And that was the end of it. Then she got all mad and flustered. It said something to me I really couldn't even understand and stormed out of the store. Yeah, you see a lot of Karens when you work. I worked retail for 10 years, and you're in the hotels. I've been yeah, hotel mm-hmm. for like 20 years, 19, 20 years, yeah. And how has that been? Oh, I, see, I love, I love my job. I'm so sad that it's closed. Um, for now, I don't know what's going to happen in the next few months or so. But um, I do miss, I miss everybody. I miss the staff. I even, I even text my um, coworkers and I'm like, oh my God, I really miss work. I really miss the crazy people too. <laughs> like, you know, fighting and arguing with them. Because it's insane. Um, there was one time, like, there was a, a long line and there was get a, a guest. Get, get up on that mic. There yeah, was there we a go. guest. There you go. And he was so mad that there was a long line. But, you know, it was like three agents. And he threw himself on the floor, and he started screaming and acting <laughs> up and cursing and saying he's never going to come back again, and, and it, security had to come and calm him down, and it was just, it was just crazy. But so, there's so many stories. Like, <laughs> Just so I can picture this a little bit better, when you, when you say grown man threw himself on the yeah. floor... Was it like a hissy fit? Like what do you, what do you, what do, you do on the floor? Was he, he was screaming kicking, and crying? Ki- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, she has children, so she's dealt with this before. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll go We're get like, the lollipop. Really? <laughs> like you want to tell him? Like really? Come on now. If you're gonna behave like this, yeah, you're not gonna get like, anything. You need to go come. sit in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Or you'll get the ones that complain and be like, "It's funny because I'll have, I'll be like, hey, welcome back. Da, da, da. I'm never coming back here again." You guys, the air conditioning never works. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. You know, maybe we can like maybe get you a different room or have engineering look at it. No. Two weeks later. Hey, welcome back. You I guess you love us. And I told him just like that. He's like, I came because my secretary booked me here. Oh yeah, oh, sure. It's okay. exhausting. <laughs> yeah. You work the front desk? The front desk. My mom was uh, the manager of a Hyatt. Oh, years ago Ryan. yes mm-hmm. and she i'll tell you what they used to have to deal with they used to have to deal with well i think it was like one week into the hotel being open this is i, I think like the 70s 80s one week into the hotel being open um somebody like killed themselves in the hotel like jumped oh. jumped and they had that whole thing and then she used to have to deal with the homeless people coming into the lobby and taking baths in the fountain so she used to have to call the fire department all the time to get them out. She's like, I'm not touching anybody. I'm not doing it. She's like, they're going to pull me in with them. She's yeah. like, I'm going to freak out. I can't do it. She's like, you got to, the only people you could call, the police would call the fire department, fire department would call the police. And then they'd, they'd just be sitting there like, it's, we're not going to do anything. Yeah. You, you, you get a lot of those too. It's like, you, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. throw your hands up. Be like, uh, who do I call for this? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you said it's been closed down. To- yeah, totally. Yeah. Cause of COVID. And then, mm. um, there, well, we still have security in there and um, HR, but um, they don't know if they're going to probably sell it. Damn. Or, yeah, reopen or maybe a different name instead of the Maxwell, maybe call it something else. But, yeah. That's crazy that, that all these, it just in general, everybody, and I'm, you're going into the city how many days a week normally? Five to six days. Yeah. 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 Working, sometimes I was working double shifts, overtime, and... Now it's like I'm home, which I mean I don't mind it. Yeah, you're with the li- you're, <laughs> and, yeah. and the and the girls are home, and the girls are home. Yeah, and Marco's home. And Marco's home. <laughs> so now yeah, a lot of a lot of people home. packed but in with each like, other. Everything's changed. Like I'm like, wait, I'm a teacher now. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's exhausting. Oh, I'm sure. I was telling my mom recently. I said I am ex- I am so happy I don't have kids right now for multiple oh, yeah. reasons. Yeah. I've I've heard the put your mask on songs that they're like brainwashing kids with to like freak <laughs> them out. I, Listen, I am, we say this constantly, I'm all for being proactive and helping people and, and doing the right thing. Yeah. I wear my mask in stores. I wear it at Bev's yeah. because it's mandatory, mandatory. and mm-hmm. I'm not going to step on Steve or any other business owner's toes. Yeah, exactly. But like when it comes down to it, just getting to that extent of 
fear mongering, especially kids who can't make their own judge. Well, there's a lot of adults that can't make their own judgment either, but fear mongering young kids into like, you got to put your mask on or the germs are going to get you. It's like, whoa, yeah. that's some scary shit for little kids. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, um, I took Leah to the post office with me and um, I had my mask and she has to put her mask on too. So we go over to the lady and I'm, you know, I'm just trying to do the transaction. And then all of a sudden you hear my little one telling her, where's your mask? And I'm to like, to the post worker? Yeah, to the post worker. <laughs> but she's behind, you know, you have the pexy glass. And then I'm like, I'm like, what is she? I'm like, and then I'm looking at her. I'm like, oh no, oh. this woman. And then she Call, goes, what did she say? Out. I said, she <laughs> said, where's your mask? <laughs> oh, she said, you have a beautiful smile. <laughs> and then she was like, it's right here. It's because, you know, we have the windows, so we're fine. And she's like, oh, okay. But she gave her the only look. And I'm like, Leah. <laughs> gave her the stink like, eye. Who, who, we don't tell you that, you know? <laughs> it's just it, school. That's yeah, funny. that's what it is. I'm telling you, I've seen these mm -hmm. creepy videos. I have to send them to you guys if I find them again. Just these creepy videos. Put your mask on, mask on. I was like, whoa, this is brainwashing. <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, it was clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. And I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. see, it's still in my goddamn brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, see, I see a block lift out. I'm like, oh, God, teacher's going to yell at me if I don't put that away. <laughs> oh, man. I know. But yeah, I don't, I, I mean, just everything is crazy. I know we were talking uh, the last couple of days. I mean, you were down in Florida a week and a half ago. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, we've just been talking about how. It's looking like things are going to shut down again up here. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. like, how long? We just got over another one. And, you know, I, ha I was in the city uh, three weeks ago, three, or mm. three, three and a half weeks ago, I was in the city and uh, a friend had somebody at work test positive oh. that he was in close proximity with literally the day before I was with him. So it's like, I was, I, he's like, yo, I don't want to freak you out, this and that. But, yeah, yeah. Like, so then I went and got tested, and I was looking around. And I'm like, I'm gonna get it from being in this testing center. Yeah, the, yeah, because everybody's sick. The the and the, and that's the issue that I'm seeing. And mm -hmm. I want to hear what you're gonna yeah, say. Yeah. The issue that I'm seeing is, uh, no one knows what they have. I don't think a lot of these are COVID cases yeah. that are going into mm -hmm. city MDs. Mm -hmm. These are people like uh, uh, they get a cough and like, oh I God, it. I have it, and they run and they go get tested, and then the line is around the block because people are getting sick from the season changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was negative, so was mm -hmm. he. He did the double. He did the rapid, and he did the um, regular, long-form one. The nose one, yeah. Yeah, the one that they, like, dig into your brain tissue. <laughs> oh, man. Did it hurt? I haven't had The, the rapid one was that. easy. I yeah. said, I do worse than my ears. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, with a Q-tip, I do worse with a Q-tip digging oh, into my ears. I'm no. like, I'm like this thing, you're barely getting in my nose right now. I'm like, we're good. You can stick it in there. <laughs> Go harder. It's all right. Yeah, it's oh, okay, man. No. Just dig in. Oh. I want to know if I have it. The guy's like, all right. He's like, we'll email you in 15 minutes. I literally yeah, felt like a- 15 minutes? That's yeah. how long the rapid yeah, takes. I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm at home. I, was, I had to go home and get the dog, and I'm sitting there like this at the Waiting. kitchen table. I'm like, it's like, I feel like I'm getting like a- like a pregnancy test or an STD <laughs> test. Oh my God. I'm sitting here like, like waiting. I'm, I'm sitting here itching. Then I get the email. I'm like, oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, we're good. Thank goodness I don't have to quarantine for 14 days. I know. Days. Thank God I don't yeah. have to just stay feeling home. Fine. Yeah, feeling fine. Exactly. <laughs> but it's like, um, you saw Elon Musk, right? Yeah. Two, ca two came back positive, two negative. Two negatives, yeah. So that. what the fuck? And then people are, are commenting at him. Uh, this, this tw a bunch of people, one of them, uh, the top ones was, this tweet is really irresponsible. And then people start commenting to that person. Why? Because he's telling the truth. Why? Because he's saying what and happened to him. Well, the truth is irresponsible yeah. nowadays. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's that's this whole uh, that's this whole other narrative that's going on. You can't speak anything that's outside of what people want their opinion to be. Mm -hmm. You can't say anything. So I just shut up. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I I don't. People argue with me. What do I say? You just stay quiet. I just go. Okay. 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 Have a nice day. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. Have a thumbs great one. Thumbs up emoji. Yeah. Thumbs up. I do <laughs> thumbs up emoji. Oh my god. Thumbs up emoji <laughs> with an okay and I. I it doesn't diffuse the situation because then they come back with like nine other paragraphs and I just hit them with a, okay. And I don't even read it. Like, yo, you just yeah. wasted your yeah. entire time writing that whole thing out. And I just Whatever. went, yo, good, good story, bro. Good Appreciate story. you. <laughs> That's how you have to handle it because if you go back and forth with it, these negative yeah. people, it's don't just- Don't even do it. It's draining and it's like oh, the, yeah. the energy is going to be <laughs> I stay out of you. Like, forget it. Then you're going to be in a bad mood. And oh, yeah. Oh, like there's been a couple of times where I have someone like comment at me on something and I'll be playing handball. And I'll go back and look at the comment, and then I go back to playing, and all of a sudden my game goes. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, I'm so mad right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm telling you, I say it all the time. If I didn't have to have social media for business, yeah, I just wouldn't use it. I just, mm -hmm. I have no need to be on there. It's just, it's, it's, it's fake life for the most part. People just pretend all the time. No one shows their losses. It's all about wins. So then mm -hmm. you, in, in, in practice, then everybody that's watching that 
It feels like they're behind. Yeah. You know, it's like, listen, it's like stock traders, right? Mm-hmm. They only post their big ones. Yeah, they yeah. only post Nobody their posts the, the million dollar trade. <laughs> yeah, well, how much did you lose before that? Yeah. Maybe you just made yeah. up all the money you just invested. You tried to invest. Mm-hmm. It's just, there. there's a, what do they call that? Libra scale, right? Libra scale. Yeah. yeah there's like yeah, always yeah. two sides to it. Two and sides. you have to, it's never balanced out evenly, especially on social. It's always just win, win, yeah, win. Yeah, win, win. Everything's mm-hmm. perfect. Lovely laugh. Yeah. Yep. And, and I mean, that kind of segues into the fitness industry, how that's really only, you know, how many times I'm sure you've gotten messages of, oh my God, your transformation is unbelievable. It's like it's, almost like downplaying it, but yeah. they don't realize how hard yeah, that was. Yeah, hard. Well, it's you a, got lucky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's, you're lucky you woke hard. up like that. It's a lot of work. You got to put a lot into it. Like it's not easy. I'll go weeks and eat a lot of crap and then I'll be like, all right, I'm going to eat clean for one day, two days. And then I'm like, ah. Uh, I'm back to eating whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, Where's the box of Pop Tarts? I know. Yeah. I'm like, ah, I'll get it. Mark will be like, What are you doing? <laughs> I'm uh, eating it so you don't eat it. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. A like, true story yesterday. He's like, What do you want to eat? I was like, You know, we haven't had White Castles in a while. Uh, he said, Let's go to White Castle. He's like, Are you crazy? <laughs> you're going to go, you know what he said? He said, You're going to kill Nick and John. <laughs> 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 the belly bombers for a reason. <laughs> he said, you're going to go kill them in there. I'm like, oh, come on. I'm like, I'll be fine. It's all right. I'll break the window out. We'll be good. We'll get extra side. ventilation in here. We're... Did you have the White Castle so we know where uh, the escape did. route? Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. But listen, yeah, we're fine. We're going we're gonna to swap seats so we're closer to the door just in case. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't bring Kenji. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been years in White Castles. I'm like, it's so like, good. I want to have that now. Yeah, let's go get it. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll never, I, I, I put down, this is when I was, this is one of my heaviest. This mm-hmm. is when I was super heavy. I was like 260 in ninth grade. And my dad, I, I, I've mentioned this a bunch of times. My dad has MS, so he can't walk. And he wasn't as bad back then. He was more mobile and he could walk. He, but he still, like when he was driving, he'd lift his pant legs to help him like move pedals and whatnot. It was kind of like a, it's sad when you look back on it now yeah. to look back on it as what you watched as a kid. Because when you're a kid, you, you look and you're just, you, don't understand. you don't understand. But realistically, that's a man who's, who's losing his functions and he's trying to cope and make it work so this way he can hang on to that freedom before he's totally incapacitated at home. Which is how he is now. He's in a wheelchair now. Mm. But back then, we, he, he, he didn't make me exercise. So I'd go to my dad's and I'd gain more weight. And I'd go home. My mom would look at me. She's like, you look bigger. I'm like, <laughs> every weekend I'd go back to her. She's like, why do you look bigger? <laughs> but I used to just play Xbox nonstop at his house because he couldn't really do anything else. Yeah. And we would just get fast food. So one night, I'll never forget, I was playing Halo, Halo 2. All right. And all of a sudden he goes, we we'll get some Wife Castle. I got a Crave case. <laughs> I finished that thing no. that night playing Xbox, and the next morning I was eating them, no. for, finished them oh. for breakfast. I don't know why that was my mission. I ate the entire case, no. and I felt disgusting. Oh. I just wanted to, I was, my dad was like, all right, time to go. And I was like, all right, let me just roll myself down these stairs. Oh, no. Disgusting. Oh, my God. But I, I, it's funny that you said you had White Castle last night because as I was leaving my shoot at, it was like midnight, I passed a White Castle, and there was a line. Of cars, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, and I literally—I'm not even joking. I literally <laughs> said, "Damn, you know, I haven't had White Castle right? in a minute. <laughs> it was, it's been a long time. So I was like, let me get some White Castles." <laughs> What'd you get? I got four cheeseburgers and fries. And Ooh. then he got onion ring, the chicken rings, and he got the whole sticks. he got the whole left side of the he menu. Got <laughs> he got the cream. He got the cream box. Hamburgers and my girls had chicken and uh, French fries. Yeah, that's awesome. But I was only able to eat three three burgers yeah. and a little bit of fries. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, but if it was a couple of months ago at the Arnold, you yeah, would have been yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. give me the crave case. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, hell yeah. Which is crazy that that was only. I mean, not a few months ago, but kind of a few months ago, the Arnold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, and then the. The plan was to stay in shape right after the show, and then you want to close the gyms. <laughs> yeah. So guess what happened? You went to White Castle. <laughs> I went to White Castle. <laughs> I went to Popeyes. Hey, all right. Popeyes, send the check. White Castle, send the check. <laughs> We're all getting paid today. Know, That's right? it. <laughs> every every type of a uh, every type of uh, <laughs> a, 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 a business plug we get paid from it. Oh, That's, it. That's it. They don't send. It. We'll distribute send it evenly. Check. Yes, exactly. <laughs> They're somewhere. They just haven't found our address yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the checks are somewhere. <laughs> so tell me, I want to know what got you into fitness. 
Oh man! It's been a, I, I, you know I was gonna bring it back there because we have to talk about, talk your, about your amazing beginning. transformation for, from the you know having the girls and whatnot and yeah, just kind of where it all started. I like to start there. So fitness, what got me into fitness was um I um I was into I was into acting. Okay. Right. So I was doing music videos and all this other stuff and you know independent films. And then I was gone for like 17 hours a day or more. And, you know, I was with Marco. Yeah. Can you believe back then? Yeah. So yeah. we were together. We're, you know, a couple. I've seen the old, I've seen the older yeah, pictures yeah, of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so he was always at the gym and I'm like, ah, so then I was like, you know what? Let me just join the gym and, you know, and see, I did not like it at all. <laughs> I'm like from, I didn't know if you tell me it was a hamstring, I'm like a hamstring was, was that. <laughs> So then um, I didn't like it. I was like, ah, never mind. And then um, so what happened was I uh, decided to um, get him jealous. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. So. Is that why you're so big now? So, <laughs> <laughs> you, so, you made so, that monster? So this is what happened, right? So we, um, and then years go by, and still I'm not into, into fitness, you know, still acting. And then um, I gave birth to Lila in 2008. And, um, and then that same, I, I guess I had like really great genetics, you know, because after pregnancy, I gained 67 pounds with her. And then after pregnancy, I had to snap back to do a, a music video and to fit into this sexy black dress, right? Whose music video? Um, Slim featuring Ryan Leslie. It's called Good Lovin'. Uh, yeah, we're it's gonna, on we're, YouTube. We're yeah, going to look that up. It. That's so it. That was three months after, you know, I had to like get back in shape, right? So, um... And I mean, by getting in shape, I was still eating whatever. And I mean, like I had great genetics, I guess, you know, mm. lend, <laughs> so, you got to lend me those like, because yeah. I've, been, I've been eating my friend's cookies <laughs> and, and my love handles are just not having a great time. Every, every, every cookie, they're like another one, Nick. <laughs> we'll try to fit it. <laughs> so then 2009 came along and, you know, so, and then I was like, uh, I'm like, he was into this whole bodybuilding stuff or whatever. So I would go to the show and I was like see these girls on stage i'm like oh okay i'm like you know what i'm gonna get him jealous i'm gonna i want to do a show he looked at me he's like what so i started looking at what he was eating and i was just eating half and um not, not a bad theory yeah, yeah that's not bad at all it's not a bad theory <laughs> eight six ounces i ate three he ate a cup i ate half a cup you know and then um he's like you really gonna do this i'm like yeah so um i got a bikini i didn't know i was pale white because i you know makeup and my hair mm-hmm. was straight and and then I went on stage and I was like, oh, so, you know, I know how to pose. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing the hands yeah, up. Yeah, just that. And then do the You're turn waving around. Yeah, and then turn around. <laughs> and turn around and do the back pose. And he said he didn't like to watch the back pose. He was like, ah. Because, you know, he hears everybody in the crowd like, oh. Yeah. Everyone close your yeah, eyes. Yeah. He's like, ah. <laughs> so then, um, and I got fourth place. And there I was like, go. oh, I like this. <laughs> I, I got a trophy. <laughs> And then I got a Victoria's Secret bathing suit. Like, let's, <laughs> she was going in then. That was the it. next show, Atlantic City. <laughs> I put on my black on. I got another trophy. I was like, oh, this is great. It's amazing. I like this. This is so easy. <laughs> so easy, you know. And he was like, oh, you're crazy. You know? <laughs> and and um, after that, for um, the same year, we, he was getting ready for nationals in Atlanta. And um, I already, you know, I got fourth. I got fifth. And then I got third. And then I was like, you know what? I qualify for national, so I'll just jump in and do it too. You know, like why not? <laughs> so then, nonchalant. You know, <laughs> like I, you know, I, I feel good. And then he was like, "You're crazy. You're gonna throw yourself with the wolves because it's a national <laughs> show, right?" So I was like, oh, "Yeah, I still remember." I was like, ah. "I got my makeup done, and my tan, and my bikini on, and I went on stage. I did my thing, and um, I placed fourth. That's and awesome. I felt so bad because he didn't place." He got oh, sick. Oh, that's right. I remember and you telling then, us that story. Yeah, and then we were on the plane, and I couldn't celebrate. You know, people were calling mm-hmm. me like, yes, I was like, yeah, yeah, you know. I, I, would, I was it okay? Mm. And then after that. You had to that, play it down. Yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. It, was, it, down, it was all right. You know? <laughs> so then the following year, um, I was just like, you know, I really, this is what I want to do. I was like, wait, you win money? <laughs> Why not? You, you, yeah. you can win money now? You got to be a pro? And you win. I said, I want to be a pro. So then that was the plan. I told him, I said, I'm going to be a pro. <laughs> I'm going to get sponsored. I'm going to place top. I'm going to place top three at a show so I can qualify for the Olympia. And then I want to do the Arnold. And he looked at me like, mm-hmm, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Keep dreaming. Yeah, yeah. You know how many other people want to do that too? And I did it. <laughs> she did everything. 
<laughs> she did everything. And I, be- I said, oh, I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> But it was just crazy because I just threw it out in the universe. And I was like, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it. And I, I achieved it all, you know? It was, mm-hmm. like, insane, I, everything. What was hard for you getting into it? Like, getting into that mindset of, because, listen. as The we, food. I was about to say, because as easy yeah. as it is, it's, the preps are grueling yeah. no matter what. Even if you're just eating exactly what he is, but half. Yeah. That's hard. The training, because you have to mindfully be bringing up areas that you know might be lacking or that you need to just make better for an overall package you know there's a lot of factors that go into it even though you make it sound so nonchalant and easy not, not to mention you were mom at the same time yes. yeah so that's i had my, whole, my, my lila was um she was two and then three yeah she was so little which i say all the time to marco because that was the first time i met marco was he posed he was a guest poser at my second show oh yeah 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 and and uh she came out on stage with him. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. He was and he gave a speech. He had, yeah. he, and he gave like a little speech to everybody. Mm-hmm. And my mom said, "I love that man." So every time oh, I say I'm with Marco, goodness. she goes, "I love Marco." Oh <laughs> yeah, I remember that day. Lila went on stage with him, and he walked away. That was with 2013. Her. Yeah. 2013. Oh my goodness. No, that was 14. That was 14 because my first show was 2013 September. That was in like March or April. Oh wow. It was it was um powerhouse classic up in uh, Montanari Bros. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. That one over there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I, it's just, it's crazy to hear that you were able to balance all that, and you had a career. Yeah, you were still working. I was still working, yeah, mm-hmm. I was working, and yeah, and then training, and my cardio sessions, the food, and um, there were times, and then I started just like, instead of getting ready for like a show in like twelve weeks or so, I started like not going to the gym. And then started rushing it like six weeks out, which was bad, you know, because yeah. mm-hmm. it's like either I'm 100%, you know? yeah. <laughs> and it was just bad. Like, I, it reminds me of um, uh, 2013. Yeah, 2013, I had a photo shoot with Muscle and Fitness at uh, Bev's. And I had my shorts on and my sports bra, and they were, you know, we were filming some exercises or whatever. And then Steve, he was like, Sarah, come here. So I was like, hey, Steve, you know, he's like, do you think that you're going to place anything top 10 in the Olympia looking like that? I was like, oh, don't. <laughs> like, he tells you the truth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I he love him. He out of his way for it. Yeah, I love him so Steve, much. Steve, take he the knife He tells out. you the truth. I said, like, oh, dang. <laughs> so that's what I was like. You know what? I got it. Mm, that's it. No more. Come on. Like, you know, fast doing it. And stuff like <laughs> so I got myself ready. And then um, I did really, I got second place there. At the O. By one point, yeah. <laughs> I got second place by one point. Well, I really All right, Steve, was, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but I needed that. She was like, she was like on stage, somebody, second place. She's like this. Mm. It's like to Steve. Somebody <laughs> had to you. tell me, you know what I mean? Like, yo, what's going on? Get up, you know, yeah. stop being lazy. And, it's that reality check. Yeah. Everybody has it at some point, <laughs> no matter Everybody what. Needs it. Everybody like, needs oh. it. Professional, in, in work, in hobbies, and side, side passions, like bodybuilding and whatnot until it's a main career. Yeah. Everybody needs that. Wake up call. So like, wake well, what up are you call doing? And I was like, oh, and then that's, that took off from there, you know? And now, that was the only Olympia you did? No, the year before that, in 2012, um, when I turned, uh, 2012, I got ninth. Okay. And yeah. then here I am, 2013, I got second. And who was, the, who was first place? Ashley. Ashley Coltwater. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And then the following year, um, we did, uh, so that was 2013. And then 2014, um, I did the Arnold's and I got second. And then we went to the Olympia and I got fourth. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen. Yeah. Oh, I, I, listen. You always want to. You always want that W. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, you yeah, always yeah. want. I, and mm-hmm. and it's so hard sometimes talking to a lot of the bodybuilders and fitness people because they're like, oh, if you're not first, the Ricky Bobby from um, Talladega Nights. If you're not yeah. first, you're last. It's like, all right, listen. Oh no. Relax. <laughs> can, relax. Can you count? <laughs> relax. Because uh, uh, listen, a second place is just almost what? just as impressive, yes. especially about, at the Olympia. How about yeah. top five in the world? That's not too bad. That's what I'm saying. I know, that's right? not too shabby. That's like, geez. And then she's out there toasting the Arnold, just like doing her thing out there. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's it, it's it's truly inspiring because there's, I'm sure there's a lot of females and that'll listen to this and get excited and go, yeah. man. And, and you, after you she had a kid and after she's doing all this stuff and yeah. you know, it, I would I would ask if there's any advice. That you say going through it, because it's much different from men to women yeah, going yeah, through yeah. preps. Oh, yeah. I mean, if there's anything that you think that there's advice that, that anybody could benefit from, whether it's just going through the process, whether it's focusing on something or just getting your head right, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know you, if you just it, you just have to you know have your your head straight, you know, and like okay, this is what I'm gonna do, you know, like even if you get a piece of paper or keep a journal and be like, all right, write down the times and all right, at this time I'm gonna do this, you know, have everything set and it's it's easy. It's like you just you know, but it's not it's not it's not <laughs> easy. Yeah. But you have to find your time too, like you know, just maybe an hour of um, training, and you know, just have your meals prepped, or if, if, even if there's a um, a sponsor out there that you know can get you some food or meals, and it's easier, you know, for someone to start from there, you know, too. But um, it's just going through it. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> just mm-hmm. do it. Just doing it. Just do it. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, it's, it's funny because I just, I was telling my, um, I texted my friend the other day, and I was like, man. Now I know why, after you were working all those hours teaching, you never wanted to go to the gym after. It's exhausting. And now I know, and now I know why she would do it in the morning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I can't get there at 5 o'clock in the morning, but she was doing that, you Oof. know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't do the 5 a.m. sessions. I could do the 7 a.m. sessions. Because after yeah, th- 3 o'clock, it's like you, there's, you're tired. Oh, done. And now I know. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know what? I, that, that happened to me the other day. What, two days ago, I was like, all right, I'm going to teach. <laughs> and then I'm going to the gym when Marco comes to relieve me. To relieve, yeah, <laughs> to I'm relieve go the to guard. The gym. Yeah. <laughs> and then I didn't. I didn't even go to the gym. I said I need a glass of wine. Yeah. Um, we. I just mm-hmm. had wine and pizza. Look yeah. at that. Listen, you I'm know? not. I'm not gonna sit here I'm and like, pretend I'm like that tired. doesn't sound great. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds, <laughs> sounds <lovely>. amazing. <laughs> I'm like I am tired. But then the next day I got up, you know, and I was like, oh, I have a little two hour break right here. She doesn't have to get back till twelve thirty. Mm-hmm. Boom! I went. I went to the gym and I came back and I felt great. That was always my thing. Where if you can get the workout, yeah, like if you can get your workout done in the morning, you can always muddle through work. Yeah. But if you're trying to be a top professional athlete, a Miss Olympia, an Arnold Classic champion, you have to have every ounce of energy you have for that day put into that. Yeah. And then the rest of the day is just muddle through it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's true. I definitely, I definitely drag ass. Like if I, if I, I, if I, I, as bad as that sounds, (laughs) I, I definitely do not do well training at night i go because tyler I never can. gets I out never can. i go because tyler gets at out at that time he uh, him and a couple of my friends they get out of work and, and by the t- a couple of them work in the city still and by the time they get out they still want to train because we're all doing meadows program now because i put them all onto that <laughs> so like they all want to like yo you going to the gym tonight you going to the gym i'm like oh yeah i guess mm-hmm. i'm at my office at three o'clock in the afternoon i'm like i could go right now i could finish up here go right now and be done and in bed oh. chilling in my in my jam jams yeah. Oh man! But I, I've I've been going to like seven thirty, and it's rough because we don't get it done till like, I mean, by the time we get there, trained. Uh, by the time we get there, say hey to everybody, this and that. It's like eight, eight fifteen, Dude. and then I'm, and then I'm finishing up at ten. I'm like I'm trying to eat, and then I'm up. I'm wide awake. Do you yeah. take any pre workout while you? I stopped caffeine two months. Oh, you did? Two okay, ago. I was gonna say because I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I stopped all caffeine two months ago. What? I'm so tired. So what are you? Help me! I'm so tired. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Just <laughs> I'm crying on the inside. Nick. <laughs> it's bad. I was I was telling John and everybody I get vertigo. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I think it's more along the lines of anxiety driven. Yeah. Um, but it's also like every time I'm overworked, every time I'm doing nonstop shoots, running around for the podcast, running around this. Now the dog. I literally feel like I have a kid. Like he's, yeah, off, oh yeah, he's the best. I, yeah. Don't get me wrong. He just wants to be with me. And if he's it, when he's here, he just sleeps. He lays down, doesn't make a scene. He just chills, and then I, he'll lift his head up. I'll go. You want to go out? Bring him outside. He goes to the bathroom. Come back in. He lays down. So he's super chill, super awesome. But it's just like when everything is going on, and then like talks of more shutdowns, and then like the stress. It's it's like it's like my shoulders Mm -hmm. are just up to here, and I go to Derlin Castro, and he constantly, you know, opens up my neck because my subluximinals get tight, which then cuts off blood supply to the brain to to some degree. And it causes dizziness and vertigo. So he's solved my vertigo every single time I get it. Mm-hmm. I go to him. Mm-hmm. I lay down on the table. Everything's spinning. Fix it. I, I get up. Done. Wow. So uh, I was noticing that it would happen when I had a lot of caffeine. And I would get the jitters, like almost, and not like the pre-workout jitters where you're just like, you want to yeah, go? Yeah, yeah. I would get the jitters as like, I'm super anxious. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Like super nervy. Things would start freaking me out because then I would start feeling like I had a vertigo attack coming on yeah so i said i might as well just stop Good. and i cold turkey stopped i've Would gone to him fine? i've gone to him two times since he's like dude whatever you're doing your neck is super loose compared to what it was he said one time it was like rock hard he had to he does art mm-hmm. he's like i really got to dig in here and get this out so it's been great 
but I've been taking pump products the last couple of workouts. Uh, that's that's what I'm all about for pre-workout. It's been great. I just, yeah. Yeah, pump? I just, I just really, pump. yeah, the pumps are great because then you feel like you're doing it. Like <laughs> I, I, I trained chest this morning. You really feel like you're hitting it. And it's like, okay, there's a little extra something. Like the pre-workout gives you that little extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That little, mm-hmm. But I really wish I had that little kick because that's all I need. I just need that little kick because when I was in prep, I was taking four scoops of Mr. Hyde. Gosh. That was like a gram mm-hmm. of caffeine in one session. It was disgusting. I would actually have to leave. This is when, this is when, I, when I was getting ready for the show for that Marco guest pose that. I'd actually have to leave Montanary Bros, like walk out in the middle of a training session because I thought I was having a heart attack. Like oh, I'd, no. mm-hmm. I'd actually have to like calm myself down and just be like, yo, you're good, you're good, just chill, chill. Now years, and I didn't always do a gram like that, but years of just every workout needing a scoop, at least a scoop. Mm-hmm. Every workout needing two scoops. Every work. Damn, yeah, the stuff. scoops. Yeah. It just slowly compounds. Yeah. yeah, the stuff is tested, but how tested is it? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't really know. No. We have no clue what long-term effects are of supplements. I mean... But, you know, it's, it's alcohol, too. Alcohol is tested, but every single day, it's not good for you. thousand percent. I, but I will passively say uh, alcohol is more widespread, where you can see changes in people's behaviors, mm-hmm. f- um, physiologically, whatever. Oh, for sure. You know, because there's mass people consume it. Mm-hmm. I, although the fitness industry seems so large, how many people are really knocking back but if you're not a fitness head, how many people are really knocking back pre-workout before you train? Yeah, no. Not even so it's like, what, what is that going to cause to kids in my age group 10, 20, 30 years from now of consistent high caffeine intake to work out yeah. with increased heart rate? <laughs> I, I don't know. But so far, I feel good. I'm definitely getting tired during the day. Yeah. Like, it gets me. Like, last night, I didn't stop until, like, 1. Then I slept. Woke up at 7 because of the dog. And then... My buddy came over. We hit chest in the garage. From from the chest in the garage, it was ten o'clock. Drove over here, set up everything in here, all the lights because they were all in my car from last mm-hmm. night. And then right wow. into a podcast. And then I got to go bring my my dog to a play date later. So it's like <laughs> it's like I don't stop. And the, and and a little coffee would definitely help. But I at this point it's like I want to see if it really was yeah, that. Just wait because I haven't them. knock on wood. I haven't had one. So it's like I don't want to exacerbate one. Just because I'm just impatient, I'm yeah, like, yeah, no. like it wasn't that, and be stupid and not yeah. going back. Like a cup of coffee or something. Yeah, yeah. and then it compounds like it always did in the first place. Yeah, yeah. You know, one becomes two, becomes three, because you always have one with you. Well, I was drinking. I, I mean, I would, especially here. I'd, I, I would, I wake up, mm-hmm. pre workout in the morning for the gym. This is like the last couple of months too. Before I stop, pre workout in the morning for the gym. On the way here, I'd drink a rain energy. <laughs> be, I'd be here. I would drink another rain in the afternoon, and then I'd have like a nice coffee. That's so it's a like, lot. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just a, it's it's a lot, yeah. and. The, the tolerance just builds and builds and builds till you're just knocking them back and you're like, what is this, a uh, seltzer? Oh no, this is 500 milligrams of caffeine in it. Yeah. It's yeah. like sick. So I'm taking it easy now. I'm just, mm-hmm. but I, Betancourt did give me some supplements for the, uh, for the Arnold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, don't, t- don't take anything yet. Well, I took it all already. <laughs> it's already gone. It's all, that, all that stuff's gone. <laughs> oh. I cycled through the whole container, <laughs> two of them ready. <laughs> yeah. That lasted, that lasted oh, no. all of a week into quarantine. I was hitting kettlebells in my living room. My mom's looking at me like, what is wrong with him? I'm like, ah! Oh, no. Throwing the kettlebells around. The dog is like looking at me. <laughs> He's looking like, shit, I might be next. Yeah. I'm going to throw you around, Kenji. Get out of here. <laughs> but isn't that quarantine the best, though? <laughs> the sweat. Yo, listen. Listen. I was shooting Marco for Betancourt, <laughs> and she's just all there innocently. She's like, Nick, what's up? I'm like, hey, what's up? She's like, she's like, I said, oh, you got, uh, I said, is that the carnitine? You go, she goes, yeah, yeah take it. Take I it. go, you sure? She goes, yeah, you're going to love it. Okay. <laughs> the next day I see her. I said, what did you give me? <laughs> I couldn't stop sweating. My mouth was sw- salivating for like 30 hours. I said, and then all of a sudden I got like the flu. I said, I started getting chills. I was like a crack addict. I said, what did you give me? Oh my God. Listen, I gave it. <laughs> I'm so bad. I took it to work one day and, and my coworker was like, you have anything that's going to give me some energy or something? Oh. I said, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, here, take a scoop of this, this much water, just, you know, just drink it. Oh my, I felt so bad. He was like, Isaira, <laughs> like, is this supposed to make me hot? That's like, legal. <laughs> I said, yeah, but I said, you're going to the gym, right? You said you were going. He's like, yeah, but not till like three o'clock. Oh. I'm like, oh, I thought you was going to go like within 30 minutes. That's why I said, take it. <laughs> So then he goes, damn. And then he, he said, 
he had to take off his shirt for a new shirt because it was Sweat all wet. <laughs> it was all wet. Yeah. Like he was like, you're sorry. And then all of a sudden he's like with a sweater. What, what, what's going on oh. now? <laughs> oh, it's so cold. <laughs> They were like, never take nothing from your Syrah. It's just the worst. <laughs> she gets it from the guy in the back. Don't yeah, give, yeah, don't yeah, take anything from her. So they always be like, what you got? I'm like, I got a lot. What you need? <laughs> <laughs> you, you want the flu? I got that ready. <laughs> I got that you want that. You want that COVID? I got it. The COVID symptoms? Yo. You want them without the actual virus? Here you go. Take this. Oh my Wait goodness. an hour. I love it. I love that product. But I'm telling you, when you get those, you're like, you yeah. have to like leave it all at the gym. Because if you don't leave it all at the gym, you're going to be like this later. <laughs> yeah. yeah, It's wild. Yeah. I've never experienced anything like that. And I've had a lot of carnitine <laughs> products. And mm. everyone's like, how's our car? I'm not joking. Everyone's like, how's our carnitine? A couple companies I do work with. I'm like, it's okay. Yeah. They're like, what do you mean? I go, well, I took betting course. That shit was insane. insane. <laughs> it's like insane. Yeah, yeah, it's like, no, what, do you, right? what, what do you mean? And they look through the ingredients. They're like, pretty much the same as ours. I go, it ain't though. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Try it. I don't know what they're sprinkling on the top of it, but it's, <laughs> it's basically crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah yeah Clarissa gave oh me all that God. and then she uh, she gave me a bunch of the Betancourt shirts uh, that yeah, we were at the yeah, Arnold the with oh good so that was fun mm. but I've done I've done some stuff with Betancourt before with Marco we did like that little documentary for him yeah yeah that yeah was in the and my video and your video that's what I was about to say out. yeah the, we have to do another one but I mean, now that I'm fuller that's, I don't yeah, like yeah. looking at video I'm like my gosh it's like bones yeah, yeah. you were you were very lean <laughs> very lean <laughs> I need some fullness yeah, the fullness definitely looks better on Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. 100%. I love the fullness. I'm like, ugh. Like, damn. Now, I wanted to, I wanted to ask you about your pre the pregnancy picture transformation. That was after your second daughter. Yeah, so then after my How? second. So after, so after the Olympia in 2014, right? Yeah. I, um, I didn't know I was, well, not right away, but mm -hmm. like the next month or so, I didn't know I was pregnant. So I'm like, you know, you're so lean. People be like, oh, you're so lean. You're not, you can't. You know, people lose their periods and they can't get pregnant and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But not me. Like, I was always giving my, my menstrual every month. And, um, I mean, like we, we tried before with, when, with Lila after Lila, but nothing happened. So it's been years. So it's like seven year gap. And I'm like, nah, I don't think, yeah, I guess Lila's going to be the only child. One yeah. and done. Yeah. That's it. We're done because nothing's happening. And then, um, yeah, so we, I didn't know I was pregnant. And then it's funny. I was like this big belly and how I found out at work because, um, my coworkers were like. Uh, you pregnant, you said? I was like, no. I was like, well, I, either. Excuse me? <laughs> I've been eating a lot of stuff. I'm like, maybe. <laughs> how, how dare you? Well, that was, <laughs> it's rule number but one. You so don't ask unless you know. There, right? They're like, they're like, well, either you're pregnant or you have to take a big shit. I'm oh, like, my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're carrying so, real low. I know, right? <laughs> so I went, I went to the pharmacy and I bought a test at work. And then I was like, let me check. You know, I was like, I was like, oh. <laughs> I said, I'm pregnant. No, I said, let me buy another one. I'm like, what? <laughs> and their stock and went here up. And I am already planning. I'm like planning the next show, right? So I'm like, wait a minute. I'm, I'm planning like the next Arnold, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, I was like, oh, I guess we're having a baby. I told Mark, he was like, oh, he was so excited. And then um, I just ate. That was it. She's yeah. like, yo. Screw it. Like it just, I was just eating and eating and eating and nonstop eating. Was this because you were constantly hungry? I was just hungry. Mm. And, you know, I used the excuse, yeah, I have a baby. I'm having a baby. So, you know, I, I can eat now. <laughs> I'm eating for two. So I just ate and my doctor every week, she's like, you need to stop. Like you're, mm. you keep putting on this weight, you know? Like, now, was it, like, was, it, care. was it actually because the, the baby was making you hungry or was it just because you were just kind of like off the rails? Hungry. Yeah, I was just hungry. Mm -hmm. I was just hungry all the time. I'll eat all these crazy things. And, and was it like that with your first ch uh, kid? Yeah. Cause, well, with Lila, I gained 67, which was, yes. you're supposed to only, what, gain 25 or 30 pounds? Oh, is that how much you're supposed to only I, gain? That's what they uh, say. Like the yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I gained 67 with her and then with Leah, I gained 81. Whoa. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> I didn't, and you know, me, I had the mentality. I was like, you know what? Listen, I'm going to do, I'm going to eat. I'm going to enjoy myself. And um, when I have the baby, I'll just snap back, right? That's what you know. That's, that's what you we, hope. You know, yeah. that's what you hope, right? But this one, this one was difficult because um, after I gave birth, I started having problems. Like, I had a preeclampsia. I didn't know, like, you know. What is that? They, it's, um, the preeclampsia is like after, like, usually they catch it before birth. But, like. They say like 90% of women die from it Whoa. From, it's during birth. Like, yeah, like you're, you're swollen, your body, your, your lungs. Like it, it was water in my lungs. I had water in my lungs. I had... Um, and you didn't, did you not I know? I didn't know any... No, I didn't know. Didn't like, feel any doctor, different? Yeah, not, nothing different. Like 
um, after I gave birth, the doctor was like, she checked my oxygen levels and she's like, it's really low. And um, she's like, do you, do you work out? I'm like, I haven't worked out in a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um, she said, uh, she's like, oh, okay, well, maybe you're fine, you know, and they let me go. But then I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I was at home and I was like <gasps> having tro- problems breathing uh, and everything. Mm. And I, I didn't know, you know, so when they took me in and um, they were like, oh, no, they put all these oxygen machines on me and everything. And they were like, no, you're, you're going to be here for a while. And I felt horrible because I had Marco in the waiting room in the emergency room with my little one, you know, my little newborn yeah. and Lila. And I was like nervous. I was like, listen, I was like, I can't, I have to get, I have to go home. I can't stay here. And I guess they left me there for like two weeks. Mm. It, blood pressure is your blood pressure. Like your, my blood pressure was off the roof. Like it was just crazy. And then, um, you know, like with time, I was like, that was the most scariest time of my life because nobody knew what was wrong. Yeah, that's the worst. Like all the blood work and everything. And I was like, oh, I was like, I just want to go home. <laughs> Maybe my able, kids. They, 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 was one of the causes for that because you're eating so much? Because you put on so much weight? I, you know, yeah, yeah. I put on so much weight. Mm-hmm. Like I was so swollen. But they didn't catch it before. I guess it didn't. I guess it actually happens. They say it usually happens like before you give birth or, or you get it after. Mm-hmm. But the survival rate is like like a little bit like it was just, yeah and i was like what it's a, it's crazy when you start to think about how many things can go wrong with pregnancies and giving birth yeah. mm-hmm. and it's just how many one off or a couple of off issues that just arise out of nowhere with a perfectly yeah, healthy they, person yeah and then 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 they thought that maybe it was because my blood pressure was perfect all the way till birth you know everything mm-hmm. was just perfectly fine i thought they didn't notice anything and then they probably thought that maybe my body went to a shock when i gave birth because it happened real quick like, I went in because I know it was uh, uh, Team Universe that weekend. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go because maybe I'm, you know. So I was like, let me just go check. And they were like, oh, you know what? We're going um, to induce you. Like, you know. Yeah, put, induce labor. Yeah, induce labor. And then um, she said, uh, okay. So I was like, all right. So I called Mark. I was like, hey. So they, they said they're going to take the baby out today. So I'm like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whole nonchalant. So I'll, be, I'll be here. So you pop know? it out real quick. I'll be, I'll be leaving with two. I'll be here. And then he was like, what? So he, he's, he said, okay, um, all right, call me. Let me know when your doctor gets there. But then when I tell you it went from zero to 100 he was at te- quick, And he was at Team U? No, he, oh. no, he was home. It was like in the middle of the night oh. that, I, that I was like, let me, because he was home with my little one. Mm-hmm. So then um, it, it just happened real quick. Like from zero to 100. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> So it was like, you know, my doctor was in there. I had all the nurses there, everybody trying to help. He didn't get to make it on time. <laughs> <laughs> stuck, on the BQ- like, stuck on the BQE. Stuck on the BQE. Get out of the way. Couldn't even grab yeah. his keys. <laughs> so they said, too, that it could have been, you know, the, with the whole, with the weight and the, the shock, you know, how the body reacted yeah. and everything mm-hmm. like that. So then after that, you know, two weeks, and then they gave me all this blood pressure medication. They said that I was going to be... Um, using this forever oh yeah like mm-hmm. but the pre- the medication was like every um every four hours every two hours every i think you you have to wake up every two three hours to take this stuff no it's horrible yeah. so then you know little by little i started stopping and but i was getting like this huge headaches because of it so then um i was perfectly fine and then the doctor said that i was had to take it for i'm like what <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> but then i was fine and then um i was i started going back into um training and then um, that weight wasn't coming out quick. No. Mm. <laughs> what was the, like what was, how I thought, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> what was the hardest part bouncing back? Like what, uh, initially getting back into the gym was just the motivation portion of it? Or was it like w- was lifting heavy? Like was lifting yeah, hard? It was, mm-hmm. I had to start from scratch. I couldn't like I had to start with like five pounds. I couldn't, you know, mm-hmm. and then the, then do my cardio. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, it's going to take forever. But then the most important was the food, of course. So then I started, you know, incorporating that and cardio and some light weights. And then um, I had an incentive, which was to get ready for um, 2016, which I didn't do a show, but I did a photo. I did a, a little, little gnat or something. Oh, my God. It's going to it's going to is it going to like stand right here or something? No, he good. No, he's good. He's good. He flew away. He flew away. <laughs> um, so I did Swat a photo that guy. He's not like He's not welcome here. <laughs> Marco went to compete in Puerto Rico, so I did a photo shoot. So I lost like 90 pounds. Jesus. 90 pounds from August of, from, you know, yeah, from August to, from September 2015 to May 2016. Damn. And I did a photo shoot. 
And then um, after the photo shoot, of course, what happens? You eat again. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, okay, now I need another incentive. What am I going to do now? <laughs> so I was like, oh, maybe I can like, you know, um, do a whole documentary into competing again, right? For all the mommies out there and stuff like that. And then, because um, of course, you know, with my pregnancy, 81 pounds, mm -hmm. the elasticity of my skin, yeah. especially mm -hmm. on my, my stomach, was is never the same. You yeah. were, I, I, I'm, I'm no, I know you're not gonna take this the wrong way, but you were huge, yes. and you carried like, uh, like straight out, yeah. pointy, like if I was having twins, straight mm -hmm. out, straight out. And um, so I was like, oh, you know what? Let me, let me do a show, and then I can like show women, you know, and they, you know, if this is what you want to do, do and you want to try, you mm -hmm. could do it. You know what I mean? There's different ways you can position yourself, you know, and stuff like that. But I didn't get to get a lot of um, content for it, right? So that was in 2017. So I got on stage and stuff, and then after that, of course, you eat again. So your skin is going, you know, back and forth, mm -hmm. and it's that's not good. Yeah. So then I was like, um, all right, that's it, Desira. You gotta get, you have to get it together, you know, like. So then I said, all right, Arnold. <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> Let's do the big one. 2020 Arnold. And then I can like really document it and show women mm -hmm. and show them my stomach. And this is because uh, to be realistic, I wasn't going to a show to win. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like I've done that, been there, did it all. This was for a whole different thing now, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was, it, you know, it was for, you know, to show women and to get back in shape for myself and, you know, start fresh. But then COVID happened, so then you know what happened then. We started eating again. <laughs> then I had to train in the park. I was, I was, I was getting I saw heavy your, again. I saw, I, saw your, <laughs> I, saw, I saw your groups. You were doing the groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I started doing the group thing which and helps, stuff, which it's, helps. It's so unmotivating training at, outside. I know. I need, I need them. It's so stu it sounds so stupid because, all right, we're fitness people. We should just enjoy being at training. And it's like, no, it's like. I was doing out. I did two outdoor kettlebell workouts, and I couldn't. I was like, I, I, I said to my buddy, I was like, I'm spending all my money. I said I have to yep. go buy a gym, and that's when I bought all my rogue stuff from my garage. I did said, you? Mm -hmm. I spent like four grand. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, money I did not have. Yeah. Did oh, not I have. have to see pictures. <laughs> oh, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. Oh it's, my we're goodness. Not, we're not regular people who enjoy just working out. If yeah. we're going somewhere, we want to improve every time we're doing something. Yeah. But now, if you're stuck with just body weights or just oh, five, ten pound goodness. dumbbells. You can only maybe sustain what you have as a regular person. Yeah, but I all th all three of us would lose muscle in that circumstance. Yes. So you need that gym environment, that gigantic rogue wreck. Yeah. To it and that kabuki bar that I just got. I saw that thing. That's awesome, bro. <laughs> oh my god, my buddy Tyler and my buddy Gabe, they both ordered it for me in July because I think it's mostly because they felt guilty. That they were working out at my at my garage, and I yeah, I like, bought yeah, everything. Free gym, free gym sure. membership. I yeah. think that's what it was. But they bought it for my for my birthday in uh, August. So, mm -hmm. but they bought it in July. It just got here this past Thursday. Wow, that's it was like Dang. twenty week crazy. lead time because of how, how crazy things have been for them. But yeah, the bar is sick. Basically, what the bar is is it's got this super rounded center, and then it's you know the Swiss bars or um, college college press bars where they. It's all neutral grips. Yeah, going yeah, yeah. In. Mm -hmm. these are these are the same way. There's three, but they're tilted in, and the further out you go, the more the oh. angle tilts. So this way, because if you're hitting a, a a Swiss bar all the way out here like this, really not hitting it, but you turn and you're able to really get pec mm -hmm. activation. Nice. So the bar is, I mean, it's well worth it in my opinion. I think it's 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 an amazing piece of equipment. Um, well, take somebody like me with a shoulder injury. I can't do a regular yeah. bench press. So that's, I need that's one of those the bars. Bar. Oh yeah. So you get nice. super, de super deep with it. Mm -hmm. You have to show this to Marco. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'll be walking in and out of the house with what? it to the gym. Yeah, he'll probably <laughs> And you could, you could do presses with it. You could do rows with it. You could put it up on the, bar, on the bar and do uh, push-ups with it. There's so much stuff that you could do with it. Uh, Bev's actually just, somebody donated a kabuki bar to Bev's, really? but it's the open trap bar. So you know trap bars where it's normally around you in, yeah. in a circle? Mm -hmm. This has one side. So you ha you're not boxed in. You could do rows with it. Oh, okay. And it's got a kickstand on it. So you just prop it up on itself <laughs> and you could load the weight <laughs> instead of having to find somebody to hold one, to side, hold one <laughs> side up while you're <laughs> fucking around That's with it. Cool. Up. But yeah, I bought, I, so I bought a rogue rack. I bought 500 pounds worth of plates. I bought um, kettlebells ranging from 17 to 123 pounds. Ooh. Singles, <laughs> not doubles. So this way I could do one arm stuff and swings. Um, and then I bought two power bars, a rackable curl bar. And the Echo Bike, the assault bike. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, nice. So you ready? So oh yeah, for, he's, we, we got to go to his gym. Yeah, right? yeah, listen, <laughs> he's ready for listen we call two. we call it Kenji's dojo. You come through whenever you want. <laughs> oh it's, man, it's, it's open to all my friends. Everybody. Damn, I just hope they don't close the gyms, and I know it's gonna come. They're it's going gonna to come, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh. Well, I, like, I told you this the other day, Nick. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, he John Mike, Mike, John Cole owns a gym, so yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, it's, oh, it's no. lovely right now. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find the picture of my gym. I'm calling Wednesday. I think Wednesday, when, you really think it's going to be Wednesday? Oh, the day when, before Thanksgiving, that's what you said. the day before Thanksgiving. Oh Here, here's my goodness. call. Cuomo's all mad because nobody's going to listen to him for his 10 people God, bullshit. Such a, such a douche. <laughs> <laughs> they want to talk about somebody that deserves to get kicked in the nuts. It's that guy and his brother. But there are. There Frank, are they, Fredo. Nick, Nick, there's nothing to kick. <laughs> yeah, there is nothing to kick. It's just going to be like, just going to sound, boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God, you're calling it Wednesday? I'm calling Wednesday. I think you, better get, you better get your workouts in. Yeah. Dude, He's, you don't understand. Listen, like I I like I'm on a roll now. You know what I mean? Like I'm a hundred percent. She's feeling with, good now. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good because before I used to not um I used to either train and be a hundred percent with my diet or I don't go to the gym and I eat like crap. Mm-hmm. But this time, which I'd never done in my life, is eat and train. And I love how I'm looking. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, this is the first time ever. Oh, so that's that the I'm secret. Like, yeah. That you're enjoying life I am, and being uh-huh. able yeah, to train. That's my, I'm, I am training heavy and, like, you know, everything. And I am eating whatever the hell I want to eat. I'm not mm. following no strict diet. I just eat. And I like the results. And I, you know, mm-hmm. now if they close the gym, I'm like, what, well, going to park again mm. <laughs> in the cold? Yeah. <laughs> I mean. No weights. Back to the whole body. My whole thing Bad is, I, I know John thinks that it's going to be Wednesday. And it definitely could be. I think that uh, it might be after because they're going to, no matter what happens, they're going to pull some bullshit saying, we told you guys not to have Thanksgiving with your families oh, and they're going to pull some shit. And the numbers see, went back that's, up. Yeah. See, that's, going why, more. that's why I want to say Wednesday because he's going to go, you know you guys, clearly nobody wants to listen. The police said they wouldn't enforce it. So, and we know Thanksgiving's a big day for the gyms. We don't want, and people are coming oh, from yeah. everywhere, so mm-hmm. we don't want it to be a super spread event when everybody's exercising. So is like, Thanksgiving really a big day for the gyms? I feel like it isn't. For us, it is. I go during every holiday, but I feel... In the Thanksgiving mornings, people do a bunch of cardio because they feel, they feel guilty. Yeah. And that's, yeah. that's all it is. Yeah. They'll eat. I mean, yeah, they'll do their workout first, and then they go ahead and enjoy food, and then the next day they'll probably go again. Well, it's like the, train, it's the yeah. members you see once a year. They come in, do, yeah, yeah. do cardio <laughs> that day and tomorrow, and that's it. And that's it. Oh, like after Christmas, right? After New Year's, you'll see them yeah. January 1st. Yo, Be- Bev's is packed January 1st. <laughs> yeah, That's January insane. 1st. Yeah, everybody's back. And it's then like, I look around, I'm like, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> <laughs> like, go to your own gym. This isn't it. <laughs> They're trying to dab you up. Do I remember you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nick, I've seen your photos before. It's like, uh, Kay? There you go, bro. Yeah, I don't know who you are. Everybody wants to train. Rejog my memory. Personal training, everything. Yeah. And then they, they never come back again. Oh, the, the, million, yep. the millions of people that hit me up. Yo, Nick. Yo, bro, we got to get a lift in. Okay? Let me know when. Never. Never, Never hear from them. Again, them. Yeah. Well, the mm-hmm. best is, um, since you have all the stuff at home, Nick, what's up? I haven't spoken to you in a while. Yo, How I, you been? I had, I had many <laughs> really? people hit me up. I had, I had many people hit me up when I posted the home gym. Really? And they, were, they were getting salty that I, was, I had Tyler and a couple of my other buddies over there. We were doing leg days. I'll tell you what, though. The home gym is sick mm-hmm. in general. Like, when I get my own place, 1,000%. Oh inve- yeah, yeah, investing I way more into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'm gonna turn my whole garage. Like if I get, if I can find a big enough garage, half of it's gonna be the home gym, other half is gonna be, you know, for my car, whatever, like that. But there's a different feeling. Don't get me wrong; it sucks training alone by yeah. yourself at, at the home mm-hmm. gym, and mm-hmm. especially because I'm not like this is the picture of it. Especially because it's not huge, but it's it, it's, oh, nice. No, it's nice. Yeah, it's yeah. quality. Yeah, so especially because it's not like huge, yeah. there's not a lot of space, and there's not a lot of motivating shit around this and that. But by the way, that's the new phone. Do you see how big this thing is? I was gonna say, yeah, so is that crazy. the plus? That's the Max, the 12 Pro Max that they, they came out. With. I ha- I got it the other a uh, couple weeks ago. That's the blue one. Oh, that's nice. Fancy. Yeah, it's humongous. It's insane. Love it. Um, so, so there's no headphone port at all, right? No headphone no port. It didn't come with a charger either. Didn't no, the- no charger. No, it didn't come with a charger. They expect you to have it already now. <laughs> Yeah, Apple's got some balls. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> but, it's, but, it's, but it's because of, it's for the environment. I, I could talk forever about that. Don't get me started. <laughs> 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 but um, so as I was saying, mm-hmm. uh, there's a different feeling like going to Bev's and just like yes. wanting to fuck shit yes. up and just get in there and just like, oh, God, I feel great. But then there's a different feeling on like a, sa- like a Saturday morning and just going, yo, who wants to train? And they're like, one of my buddies will hit you up. Yeah, legs. Do you want to hit legs? Yeah, I'll hit legs. All of us just like, 
nonchalantly walking in, have, yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah. got their coffee, and everyone's like, all right, let's get to it. And it's we not all, the same. It, that, you know, it's not the same, but I like that, though. There's yeah. like a camaraderie feeling of everybody just using really good equipment at my house. Yeah. Everyone just kind of were like doing walking lunges in the middle of the street in my, on my block. It's just, it's a different feeling. It's different, yeah. The dog it's there. nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the dog's yeah. hanging out with us. It's nice, um, but they're two different spectrums. I'll always probably belong to a gym. Yeah. I mm-hmm. will, but... Like on snowstorms, on days like today where I, I, could, I didn't have the time to go to the Bevs and then get home mm-hmm. and, and do all that. You know, Steve called me because he, he hits me up with like questions and stuff like that. And then at the end of like our question, he goes, uh, what's up? I haven't seen you at the gym. <laughs> 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 I was like, my bad, big guy. It's not, I'm like, it's nothing against you. And, I, I, I said, I'm not I'm, at another gym. Don't get me wrong. I'm not anywhere else. I'm just at the garage yeah. just because I haven't had time lately. I've just been getting it in at home. He's like, all right, I better see you soon. I'm like, yeah. I know you will. I promise. I said, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I know, <laughs> but it's, but it's, but it, yeah, like when I was at the park, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's different, you know, but w- when we have a group of girls and we all start, we start off, you know, little by little. And then all of a sudden you're like, they're like, yo, we're dying. Like in 45, we train for like an hour and you feel so good. You're like, yeah, yeah I'm so mm-hmm. happy we got this in. Everybody feels great. They're like, all right, the next, let's do it again next day or, or next week. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. But then it's like, you're dragging. You're like, damn, the park again. The park again. <laughs> yeah. It's cold out. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I want to go to well, the that's gym. That's the other thing. This this time around, it's going to be winter. Oh, I know. You know what I mean? So who knows what people are going to be doing? Well, yeah, it's going to the I garage. Have... The garage is already getting cold, so I got to get yeah. a heater in there. Yeah. Because that touching that touching that steel while it's cold, nothing more unmotivating. <laughs> nothing. And you can't wear gloves because no. <laughs> oh, yeah, just just because I can't 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 go against my bodybuilding no, roots and wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I mean, who who knows what's going to happen? Will Kenji lay on you every set so you stay warm? Yo, <laughs> middle of sets, he just, his big head, like, I'll, I'll, I'll be about to, like, bench press, and his head will just come from right here, and he's, like, this looking at me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, buddy, I'm right here, man. And his little tail's going crazy. I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm like, I'm right here. Don't worry. I'm not leaving. Dad, I'll so add more weight. He'll jump on it. <laughs> yeah. He's the shit. We got to get our puffs together. I know. Oh, Gizmo, he loves all the dogs. Well, how, yeah. He goes crazy. I have to be careful with Kenji, because he's super dominant. He does? So he oh. sees other males, and he wants to not attack them. But he wants to let them know, like, if there's problems, I'm the boss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He got out a couple of uh, weeks ago. He got out from the, the, the fenced-in area that my buddy and I have our dogs run around in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They both got out. There was a golden retriever walking by. And uh, did I tell you this? No. Yeah, there was a... Uh, so usually there's a huge open gate that you can close. And then there's one side entrance, you know, like parks that have no gate. It's just like a, a walkthrough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Two trash cans blocking that every time we've gone there. So we're like, cool, whatever. Yeah. So we walk in, as usual, dogs running around for like maybe a half hour. And all of a sudden, this guy with his golden retriever starts walking across the street. And Kenji and Molly, my, my buddy's dog, run over to see him through the fence. So I'm on the playground sitting there, and we're just talking to each other. All of a sudden, we hear a woman, the woman go, oh, my God. And I look, and I go, are the dogs in the street? <laughs> I run. Somebody moved the trash can. We didn't see that somebody moved it to the middle of the basketball court. No. Mm. I run. And Kenji is mounted on the back of the golden retriever oh with his mouth around its neck, no. snarling, like, like growling and, and, and letting it. So I said, get the fuck off him. And he jumped off and came over to me and I picked him up and I brought him back in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he wasn't biting him. He was just yeah, letting yeah, him know, like, like I'm, I'm, the boss. I'm the boss. Don't, oh don't move. <laughs> it's an Akita. gone real bad real fast. Oh, real fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah real fast. Like, I'm glad that people didn't try to hit him. I'm yeah, glad yeah, that. Yeah. I'm glad they, that. They screamed and they said, mm-hmm. hey. Yeah. yeah. So I, ra- I ran. We, uh, I, I, you could have timed me. I would have done the combine for the NFL. <laughs> I was like, I ran so fast because I heard him growling. So I mm-hmm. knew. I was like, oh, God, he got out without a leash. That's oh. it. Yeah. He's, but he's super sweet. He yeah. just doesn't. Re- he's only 11 months old. He's, he's a he's baby so, still. He's still yeah. feeling his way around things. Yeah. And. Well, even with even with Archer, you know what I mean. He yeah. played a little rough with Archer, and, and his dog, dog. He doesn't have a mean bone in his body. His, his <laughs> dog started walking around like this. <laughs> he was coming to me. He's like, Dad, he's like, Dad, he get me out of here. And <laughs> what's then going on my, here? Fr- my friend went crazy. Kenji's just pawing him. He's like, come oh. on, bro, come on, play with me. And he's like this. <laughs> Did, oh my were you God. there for that little dog that was at the at the at the dog run that time? There was this little dog. He had these big, like, crazy eyes. He was like yes. a pug, pug something. Yes. I don't know. And the, the owner's like, no, it's okay. They could play. I'm like, yeah, but Kenji's rough. I said, yeah, I just want to be careful with him. No, no, he's good. He's good. And the dog kept, like, 
fucking with Kenji. Like, yeah, fucking yeah, with Kenji. Yeah, yeah. So finally, Kenji had enough. He, like, swiped Bum. with his paw. <laughs> he rolled into the fence, and the dog was like this. <laughs> like, he was, like, laying there up. I was like, okay, I gotta go, because he's gonna, he's gonna oh, hit him again. No. You're gonna, he's gonna eat your dog. Oh, I wonder how Gizmo is gonna be with him then, because Gizmo, <laughs> he, he, he has, um, my, my sister-in-law, she has two big dogs, right? Mm-hmm. I think they're water, water doodles. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. They're black. Maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah. Two big ones. And um, he's like a bully. <laughs> his little thing. He's, how, how, how much does he weigh? Gizmo is like 20, okay. 25 pounds. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And and Kenji, he's Kenji's jumping. 75. <laughs> oh my God. 40. So I could imagine he'll probably be jumping on Kenji like, like trying to get attention. He I'm likes so. to play with the little dogs. He does. There's a little toy poodle. It's like 10 pounds in the neighborhood. Oh. Every time he sees it, he, go, he goes running up to it and the little toy poodle runs up to him and I'm just like, oh, please, please don't hurt it. <laughs> Today's not the day. Yeah, please no. <laughs> does he bark when he sees other dogs? Kenji? Uh, hit or miss. Oh, okay. When he barks, something's up. Like, he wants to yeah. tell me something. Yeah, mine's Like, good. someone's coming, tr- someone's at the door, someone, uh, or or he sees another dog and he wants to let them know. He's gotten, as he's maturing sexually, because he's not fixed. So as he's maturing sexually now, he's definitely, he was always the alpha of the litter. He was always the, the, the top one of the litter. They used to gang up on him. Like, when I picked him, when I picked him up, he had um, cuts on his head, Aww. like little bite marks that, because they all jumped on him. And he had to fight off like three of his brothers. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were nasty with him. Yeah, they were fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I, now I want to get them all together. We stayed all in touch. Oh, I want to get them all together. Yeah. I'm oh, like, nice. oh, my, my man's going <laughs> to punk them now. <laughs> because Remember I think me? his closest brother's 58 pounds. He's, he's almost 80. Mm-hmm. So he's way bigger than all of them. Oh my God, that's huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crazy. So I just, you know, he's always, now that he's getting into it, like if, he's, if we're walking around the neighborhood, some, my mom like got a weird feeling with somebody that was walking around the neighborhood. And she called me and she goes, hey, she's like, this guy doesn't look like he belongs here type of thing. Like, he doesn't look like he's part of the neighborhood. It just rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. I said, do you want me to come down with Kenji? She goes, yeah. I'm like, okay. So I came down with Kenji. We saw the guy. Kenji instantly, like, we don't have to say anything. Puffs his chest out, like, stands between us and him as he's walking by. And like, wow. <laughs> like that. Like, just letting mm. him know, don't come close, man. Wow. Yeah. So he, he's got it in him. He doesn't play yeah. around. Yeah. But he's the shit. He's my man. That, that, I mean, if he was here right now, he'd be loving you. Yeah. Every time he sees John, John's telling him, no biting, no biting, because he puts his whole mouth on John's arm. Oh. He just wants to wrestle with him. <laughs> yeah, he's the shit. He's, he's great. great. He's great. You are babies. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> it's, it's babies. Third, third baby for you. Yeah. Nick, you know, um, the canine shop has Santa Claus coming, right? Really? On the 28th. I don't know. <laughs> I want to go. I'm bringing Archer. I'm bringing so Archer. Cute. I don't know how. Yeah, so we feed, we feed the dogs raw. So uh, there's a shop in Massapequa. Canine shop, send the check. Actually, he wants to come on the podcast, so we have to definitely. He'll bring the check and when he comes the, um, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a kid. There's a kid who listens to the podcast. I know he's the shit. Whenever, whenever I run, he's like, I ran into your boy Nick. He's the best. <laughs> yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, I told him. I, I, I told him last time. I left Kenji in the car when I went in to go get food, and, oh. I, and he goes. He goes, yo, where's my man? I said, oh, he's in the car. He goes, oh, I'm going to go say hi to him. I go, I don't know how he's going to act. I said, let me go with you. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know about you, you. You sticking your hand in the yeah, window. Yeah, he yeah, might yeah, not yeah. like that. He'll probably, yeah, he'll probably. Mm. I got to have, I, 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 I got to see how he acts with Santa. Imagine he just starts mauling the Santa. Oh, my God. That's so cute. I didn't even think about that. Like Santa for the dogs. Well, I was going to, I, I was going to get him baptized. <laughs> what? <laughs> they do that. They, they do at that? The church. They, they just do like a little, <laughs> little quick reading and they just throw holy water at the dogs. I did it for my first dog. <laughs> I was gonna do it. I know John's not very spiritual like that, but you know, for for me, it's like I, I see it as why are you splashing my dog? Yeah, listen, man, let, <laughs> let him splash him. Let's just if it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, eh, then he got splashed and he got wet. Yeah, Whatever, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's all about that. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, what was I gonna say? So, any more fitness plans? Mm. Anything that you're gonna be doing? Oh man, so are you ever gonna compete again? Is the queen ever gonna come back? Oh my god! You know, I I, I love competing. I just love the the glamour. I love the, the you know the look, the stage. You know the whole you know getting all dolled up and stuff like that. But last time we left off in in, in Columbus, you said you were you were fifty fifty. Yeah, you know, but I really you know what I I love the wellness. Yes, mm. I love that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I rather like if I can grow to that, then maybe you know, who a year it? or two years. Who killed it at Bev's? Um, Lolly. Lolly. Yes. 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 My girl, I love her. Oh my god, her look. Like that's why I was like, damn, I like this bonus. Yeah. yeah, she was. I mean, she was struggling. What, what was she doing prior? Bikini. Bikini. Yeah, bikini. yeah she was struggling. And, but, and you in see that. the pictures, like how thin. And then yeah, mm-hmm. she was. You know, she was trying. You know, struggling to get her pro card, and you know, because of her body. But then her bot now her body is wellness. This is it's what perfect you need. For it's perfect, yes. yeah. And look at that. She's a pro now, ready to go into yeah. the pro shows, win them, awesome. get to the Olympia. I want to see you at the Olympia one more time. Me. Mm-hmm. One more time. Come on, do Not it for me. Not bikini, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do it for us. Not bikini, man. Maybe, hey, let's see what happens in another year or two. 
Mm. Not bikini. That's okay. Because I, 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 I love muscle. Yes. <laughs> I want to keep my quads, glutes, hamstrings, upper. I want all that fullness. Oh, she comes out looking like Megatron. That's it. She's <laughs> <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> Well, I talk, I talk, so we see what body I bring. I, well, I talked to Marco a couple of weeks ago on the phone. We were just talking. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And he was just like, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm doing good. He, good. He, and I said, yo, man, you, you keep hitting these little subtle, like you're coming back again. Yes. Posts. And mm. he goes, yeah, man, I think I, uh, I think I might be doing something. He's like, I'm, I'm growing and I'm getting bigger. I yeah, was like, he's oh. growing. He's getting big. I'm like, every time I go, I'm like, let me, let me touch your chest back. He's like, <laughs> you want to touch I'm like, come, come here, come here. Let me, let me, let me, let me see. Let me see. What's, what's happening here? He's like, Stop. <laughs> yeah, I, listen, you guys are my favorite power couple in the Aww. industry. I just love super positive vibes and just amazing athletes in general. So it's just, it's always nice to yeah. see you guys do well. And I, I want to see Marco keep, keep um, upgrading and getting better and better. And yeah, you're rocking. Conviction, Show conviction the camera. Bodybuilding. Conviction bodybuilding. Hey, now. And we're going to have, uh, we're going to have to help him with uh, the youth program when it yes, starts to come around after COVID and everything I like know. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to, he, he, this is something that he wants to do. He's been wanting to do for a long time. So, you know. It's I'm exciting. It's all it. passionate yeah. stuff that I see with him. Yes. But listen. I want to thank you for coming on. No, man. Thank yeah. you guys nice for having me. You. Finally. Yeah. finally. I hear nice nothing but good things too. from you, Nick. We've been waiting. We've been waiting yeah. for the queen. And she, and she didn't disappoint. That was the no, best. No, no. I'm it. like, listen. I'm like, yo, man. This, this schedule of <laughs> mine. Like, listen. I said, you know, but I could do it on Saturday. I could just drop them off at mom's. <laughs> there you I go. Promise I'm not blowing you off. Babysitter. No, listen. I, I didn't go to the gym just for you guys. Oh, oh. thank you. <laughs> we, 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 love, we love you, too. We appreciate it. Are you sure it wasn't the White Castle? <laughs> no, no. I'm supposed to burn that off. But man, I'll Knowing your metabolism, tomorrow. you burned it off already. I know. Oh, yeah. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. No, but but I'm really, no, thank you guys for having me here. And I, I, I want to come back again. Whenever you want. Maybe yeah, we get, a, maybe we get a, a you and Marco special. Yeah. Ooh, yeah that'd be maybe fun. Can, that'd be a good time. Yeah, you know what? And then maybe we can tell you some of our stories. I would love to hear. Yeah. Seriously. We'll keep that, we'll, like our crazy stories too. You, you know? hear that here well, first. If you were both in prep at the same time, I'm sure there's a few of them. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, if there was there a, if there was a fly or there is hidden somewhere. camera on, on a, the wall on the wall in my house, woo, some good reality show there, <laughs> good reality Uns unscripted, TV. <laughs> unscripted for years. <laughs> because <laughs> me and him forget it no we, we I love him to death you know he's my mm -hmm. right oh, guy, we, you know listen oh, we, yeah. I he love that man he couldn't have enough but he <laughs> couldn't have said on both both episodes we've had him on he couldn't have said enough good things about you and yeah, that just yeah, shows bro. how amazing he, you guys really yeah. are because it's it's a teamwork thing yeah it's a teamwork thing he's, mm -hmm. he's my baby you know I mean like no relationship is ever perfect you know what I mean like no, we of can't course. say like you know everything's perfect you know but it's work Mm -hmm. But you know, we you put in the work. Him, That's yeah. honesty. You guys don't yeah. just go ah fuck it and then just like whatever. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, give, no. Like, throw come the, here. Throw, throw the towel in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't throw no towel. What? Come get your ass off. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we have a lot of crazy stories. Maybe we can say that for another episode of our crazy um from way mm. back, back before bodybuilding is and stuff. Absolutely, <laughs> we'll, we'll be here. We're not yeah, moving. Some funny stuff real. too. <laughs> we'll get another microphone and you'll be good. We'll yeah, get you guys yeah, yeah. on. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be good. On that note, I'm going to have John kick this outro. So, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in this week's episode of The Voice. And Rizzle's joined by none other than... Yesira Robles Rivera, baby. Let's go. Woo! Peace. <laughs>